another Don segment. We're doing the list, Michael. I don't care if you don't like it. The Daily Don. I'll fight to the death for this list. It's the Daily Don Show. He makes lists. Take it away, Donnie. <laughs> All right. Today, the top five players to play for multiple New York teams. Now, before you get freaked out, the one caveat I will throw out there, guys, and I think this is fair, they had to contribute in both places. Like, example, Duke Snyder played for the Dodgers and the Mets. He played a handful of games for the Mets. Yogi Berra, a handful of games for the Mets. Willie Mays, 135 games with the Mets. I'm not talking that. I'm talking about a guy that played for multiple New York teams and had a pretty significant contribution to both. This is this is fair. This, this is easy. All right, Michael. Let me get rolling here. I don't. I don't often have a lot to offer. Okay. True. Um, let's start out with uh, Straw. Daryl Strawberry. Daryl Strawberry does make the list. Now, I have him at number three, and here's why. Eight years with the Mets. We know all the things he accomplished there. Rookie of the Year, seven-time All-Star, part of the '86 World Series. Now, Michael could probably give a better example than I can because I watched it a little bit from afar. Five seasons with the Yankees, in which he averaged only 46 games a year. But, Michael, his contributions, leadership, three championship teams in that span in 96, 98, and 99, he had a major contribution, maybe not necessarily in statistics and games played, but he really put his fingerprints on those three championships in the five years he's there with the Yankees. I have it at number three. How about Gooden? Yeah, Doc Gooden, I actually have it number two. Oh, now, we higher. know what he did with the Mets, but with the Yankees, Michael, again, he's only 10 games above 500 at, at 24 and 14, but, Michael, he pitched a no-hitter, which he had never done with the Mets, and it was just another, another player that pitched for the Mets, whether it be Nolan Ryan, Tom Seaver, that goes ahead and pitches his no-hitter after he left the Mets. Now, the but, Mets have never had a no-hitter, right? Well, they have. Well, you I don't mean, not, not it, if there was replay. Johan I mean. Santana, but there wasn't, so it's a no-hitter. <laughs> I can't believe you decided to go down that road. But <laughs> they did. They have. But um, So I got Doc Gooden there. How about um, a man known as Casey Stengel? Oh, look at you. Now, Casey Stengel, Peter may not even realize this, is you know con- contributed to every team ever. In New York, right? Managed the Yankees and the Mets. Played for the Dodgers and the Giants, but he's not on the list. Okay. He's not on the list. No. You, you could argue How, he's number one on the list. No, he's How not. How about, um, he didn't do that much for the Giants, but was on the Giants, Don Maynard. No. Because he he, he didn't, got cut by the Giants. Never I know. really played. Yeah, but, but he, he wore a uniform. I understand that. So you completely ignored the beginning no, of I the top did. five I, I when just, I said I wanted he had to, to make a contribution to both teams. All right, how Dude. about Sal Magley? No. <laughs> <laughs> how about... Um, I, I don't know if you'd say that he played well. Uh, or had an, Jason had Kidd. No, it was only one year with the Knicks. But it played so well. I thought about it. I, I thought, listen, Pat, Pat LaFontaine scored 23 goals with the Rangers, but it was only one year, so right. I didn't I didn't count Pat LaFontaine either. Or Willie Mays, for that matter. Again, just 135 games. Went to a World Series with the Mets, but nope, not in the top five. Didn't Kenyon Martin play for the Knicks? I believe he should be there. <laughs> I got one. No. Here we go. Yes. I got one, I think. Could be number one, too. Okay. David Cone. D- yeah, David Cone's number one. Yeah. It really is. There you go. Let me just throw a war at you, okay? He what spent is it good seven. For? He spent he spent seven years with the Mets, six with the Yankees. So it's it pretty evenly distributed. Split. Beautiful. And of course he won twenty games with the Yankees, pitched a perfect game with the Yankees, and we know what he accomplished Four with the Mets. His Met war for his career was 19.4. His career war with the Yankees was 20.3. That's a pretty even split in years and contributions. So I've got David Cohen at number one. So, so good number left? two, straw three. You need four and five. One of these guys, again, it's more of an even split. He wasn't a Hall of Famer by any stretch, but he had an even split with the two teams. 
Um, and the other one is a Hall of Famer. And it had equal years played for two different teams. Now, it's just players, so I can't say Parcells, right? No, I'm not going to say Parcells, no. Okay. These are players. I'm just impressed that all we've done over the years, Peter was able to come back with Casey Stengel. Uh, dude, who didn't that make the list. That was his low Finally. point, and now it's his high point. He, he was Finally. a part of every single team in the city and didn't make the list. He once lifted his cap when he was at the Brooklyn Dodgers, Peter, and a bird flew out. He had a bird under his cap. Yeah. That's why they didn't think he'd be a good manager, because he was kind of a clown as a player. There, did you say there's a bird loose when it happened? I'll kill that bird! You want yeah, my I, I was in the booth in 1928, and I said, there's a bird loose. There's a bird now. Loose. There's a bird loose in the mall. At Ebbets Field. Um, what, what a moment. Were there malls in 1928? That's right. Yeah. Are these baseball players, or? They got to be I'm going to tell you. One baseball. No more baseball. Wow. No more hockey. None, no hockey. One football, one basketball. One, one basketball. football. Let's yeah, we're, let's let's go to the basketball here. It, it's going to be an old school. I believe it's a, Michael. Is there an old school net turn Nick we're forgetting? Mm-hmm. Peter's on to something. He's sniffing. I, I'm feeling old school here. I'm feeling Dr. J days. I feel like He's we got to go warm. back. He's getting warm. Uh, I'm, I got one. Yes. Michael Ray Richardson. No. Close. Played for the Nets and the Knicks? He did. He, that he did. There's a lot of players that played for both teams. We could be here all day with players Ray that Williams played is not on your for multiple either. teams, not in the top five. But you're, you're right there. You're right there. You just don't think of him very much as a net. You mostly think of him as a Nick, but it was actually an even split. Four years in New York, four years in New Jersey. And you're telling me what I think. Hold on. And I said there was one football? Yes. How about Pepper Johnson? No, not enough with the Jets. No Leonard Marshall either. Not enough with the Jets. Hmm. But there's a guy. A guy. That's oh. close. Could it be? I'm looking something up. I don't care if it's in or out. A net and a Nick. He also played for other teams. Uh huh. But Nick fans love him. Um, uh, Bernard King. Bernard King. That's there right. Four years with the Knicks, averaged 26.5 points per game. Four years with the Nets. Remember, he started with the Nets his first three years and then played his final year in New Jersey. Averaged 20.2 per game in his four years with New Jersey. Bernard King, number five. And yeah, there it is, 1977. How Here's about. There. How about Jumbo Elliott? That's right. Jumbo Elliott wow. is number Look four. at us. Eight Look at us, with Michael. the Giants. Won a Super Bowl with the Giants in 1990. Six years with the Jets and was on the team that went to the championship game in 1998. But pretty, pretty fair um, split between the Jets uh, and the Giants and contributed greatly to both. So Bernard King, number five. Jumbo Elliott, number four. Uh, Straw, number three. Doc, number two. And David Cohn, Number one. Today was so a beautiful list. On that. Beautiful list today. Great. Well, yeah, I enjoyed we, it. we named a lot of people that could have been on the list. If, but Don but would do you say, think any of the off? people? Do you think any of the people that were mentioned belonged on the list? If, if since you made it players and they're right. playing, you could say Joe Torre too. But it was just it was just. Oh, players. if you want manager, because there's Stengel's plenty of there. Them. If you go manager, oh, he's number one. Probably. He's number one. Although he didn't do much. You know how strong I feel about how strongly I feel about him? Well, you've gone to school on Casey. That's right. Casey Casey would not be number one because it, as much as I think he helped sell tickets in Flushing, not not not, not a lot of wins there. Yeah, but he, he built the foundation. He got people to get go there and so they can they could build at their own pace. Oh, I I, I like Gil I Hodges said, would be there, player and manager. Yeah, that could be another list, although we're kind of giving... Yogi, Yogi played for the Mets and the Yankees, and managed the Mets and the Yankees. Yes. No, he's he's done. Um, Coming up, 